All right, we have the Mark II housing. Major differences are it has an infrared illuminator, scalloped pods. Also, this one has a upgraded board, so you can run it without a battery in the, the housing. Okay, and it won't blink uh, at you. But there's also another feature on the Mark II housing. These have, oh yeah, just so you can see, there's no battery in here. It was only powered by the battery backpack. So the new Mark IIs have this D collar ring thing. So, right, the infinite focus stop works. It's also acting as a close focus stop. So I can't unscrew this objective lens, but if I unscrew this guy, I might need to get a tool. You need one of our, you need one of our MVG tools, um, or you can do it with your hands, but this one's a little bit tight. So if you unscrew this ring, actually take this lens out without having to remove eyepiece or tube there we go so the way this works is there's no uh close focus stop ring here this is a close focus stop so this little d ring thing here now this only works on lenses like this this is a carson lens you see this step there's a step here and a step here when this, when you put this lens in, okay, there's just enough room to fit that, but it has to be centered. This is off center. Now it's centered. And this little D thing lip catches onto the end of that. That's what prevents this from unscrewing all the way out when you go close focus. But as you saw, when you unscrew this from the pod, you can then remove your entire objective lens, replace your objective lens, on, on the field, um, you may or may you may or may not need a uh, spanner wrench, but you can do this, you know, uh, on the field if you had to. And of course, you have to reset your infinite focus stop, but not that big a deal. So if you you know shoot out of the a lens or something, and you have a spare lens, you can swap them in the field.